This is poison coffee. No, it's not poison coffee. What's poisonous are your extreme statements. Are you someone who drinks these tasty and ultra convenient 3-in-1 instant coffee packets every morning? It That's the issue right there. Every morning, every day. This is poison coffee. Okay, before we even continue the video, I am not hating on this guy. I actually like him. I actually like the fact that he wants to encourage people to eat as natural as possible. What should you drink instead? Stick to the real stuff. Drink regular brewed coffee. This has one ingredient. This is poison coffee. What should you drink instead? Real liquid milk. Milk should have one ingredient. Milk. As always, real food is the answer. But these claims are just not true and are too extreme. If you bother to look at the ingredients. This is classic influencer strategy. Let's look at the ingredients of your typical powdered milk. It doesn't matter what the brand is, they're all the same. If you look at the ingredients on a typical 3-in-1 coffee, and it doesn't matter what the brand is, they're all the same. This is not the only video you will encounter in the future that's over that, that has this overstatement tactic. Social media is all about keeping you in attention. In fact, this is their strategy. This is their pattern. I'll lay it out for you. Number one, fear mongering. This is poison coffee. Okay, they instill fear out of you saying, oh, this is poison, this can cause this disease, this can kill you. Number two, not only will they make you fear, they will, they will say it in the, in the most confident position as possible. It doesn't matter what the brand is, they're all the same. They're, it doesn't matter what the brand is, they're all the same. Bold statements. They are ultra confident. Artificial sweeteners, which also causes insulin resistance. This is metabolic chaos in a packet. Come After those two getting you to fear and being ultra super confident, there's number three. The first ingredient is hydrogenated vegetable oil, a key driver of insulin resistance which opens up Pandora's box to a lot of nasty disease. Research claims by correlation without even looking at the whole context. In toxicology, a science that studies on the, basically the toxicity in foods, toxicology basically says dosage makes the poison. I'll repeat that dosage makes the poison amounts is the determining factor whether it's gonna be good for you or bad for you why is there even vegetable oil in your coffee vegetable oil can cause all of this nasty disease and insulin resistance in the right amount speaking of amounts there is such a thing called ld50 lethal dose amount what does that mean? Let's say we are studying the dangers of an ingredient. In this case, vegetable oils. We have 100 rats and we fed them vegetable oil until they are dead. LD50 is the amount it takes to kill 50% of those rats. Meaning, applied in humans to be safe, there is a 50% chance that that amount or dosage, it can harm you or it can even worse, kill you. Do you know what is the LD50 of vegetable oil? 5 kilograms. 5! Meaning, in order for you to experience the side effect he's talking about, insulin resistant, Pandora's box of all these kinds of disease you have to consume in one sitting five kilograms of vegetable oil can you do that he talked about refined sugars there's four different types of refined sugar and artificial sweeteners which also causes insulin resistance there's glucose syrup and sugar why is there even added sugar in your powdered milk refined sugar can cause insulin resistance diabetes and obesity in order for you to be killed or to have the side effect of refined sugar, you have to consume 29.7 kilos of sugar in one sitting. Artificial sweeteners, which also causes insulin resistance. This is metabolic chaos in a packet. 
Come artificial sweeteners we found in Coke Zero and Pepsi Max and all these diet sodas. You have to consume 10 kilos of that in order for you to, to die from it or have disease from it. It's even more toxic. To salt is more toxic, 3 kilograms. So, what can we learn from this? Anything can kill you. It's all about amounts. Even water can kill you. The LD50 of water is 90 kg. If you drink 90 kg in one sitting, you will die. There's preservatives, additives, and emulsifiers, which messes up your gut. Trans fats, preservatives, additives, emulsifiers, messes up your gut in the right amounts. It's not the amounts you see in the coffee. Even if you drink it three times a day, as he said, it will not cause you to have those side effects. This post is very misleading. So relax. Don't worry about chemicals. Even healthy foods has chemicals. Even, even coffee has chemicals. He says one ingredient. No, look at the chemistry. Look at the composition of coffee. If you look at the chemical composition of most of these healthy foods, brewed coffee, even milk, if you look at their chemical composition, it has a lot of chemicals in it. So don't be afraid of chemicals. Preservatives, they are good. Okay, They preserve our food. Why is there vegetable oil in our coffees? It tastes good and it preserves the food well. That's it. 